In, in 14 months, if this all works out, Afghanistan will have to defend itself completely. Are the Afghan security forces able to do that? Even currently, over 94% of all the uh, military operations are carried out by the uh, Afghan forces. And uh, the adjustment of the troop has been something that was coordinated closely with our security forces. Should we assess and get to the point that this is going to be feasible, I believe that, that we would be able. Plus, what you're referring to in 14 months is under an assumption that the conflict will end, that there will be a peace negotiation and it would end to a peace deal. It's very clear all around that it's all based on conditionality. There is many, many conditions to be met along the way for us to get to that point. Should we get to that point and all those conditions should be met, then we, we of course, there is no need because the Afghanistan would be peaceful and we will be uh, re still receiving support for our security forces as it has been committed. And uh, uh, we are looking forward uh, towards working together with our partners toward a self-reliant Afghanistan. Now, in that 94%, does that include everything from lift to casualty evacuation to close air support? Is, is there any other U.S. assistance in any of those missions beyond? Just uh, them out. Sure, uh, there is. There has been lots of U.S. support uh, with the Air Force and uh, some of information sharing and whatnot. But at the same time, every day the investment that has been uh, made towards our security forces and the capacity they have built, particularly over the past two years or so, has really ramped up their ability to respond to the enemy. And this is what we are seeing on the ground. It's based on that that it has gotten. Uh, as high as 94%. A few years ago, I was in Afghanistan. I talked to an Afghan uh, three-star general who talked about the concern in Nangarhar province of uh, Taliban going back to Pakistan, changing uniforms, then becoming ISIS, depending on things. How difficult is, is that going to make it when the Taliban is supposed to uh, fight ISIS? The question of Pakistan as a sanctuary for Taliban is the most important question for the peace to find its way in Afghanistan. So this is one of the issues, as well as the issue of drugs. Uh, Taliban need to define their relationship with Pakistan. And this is part of the agenda that we are hoping to be discussed during the intra-Afghan negotiations as well as uh, their relationship with the drug cartels, with the narcotics industry, which is fueling and, f uh, and funding their operations um, against us, against our allies uh, and civilians, of course.